नमस्ते एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल डॉक्टर अभिषेक कुमार टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट दी हिस्टोलॉजी ऑफ ट्रेकिया हियर दिस लाइन वी आर मेकिंग द बेसमेंट मेम्ब्रेन ऑफ द ट्रेकिया सो ट्रेकिया इज अ फाइब्रो इलास्टिक कार्टिलेजिनियस ट्यूब एंड हियर वी आर मेकिंग द goblet cells along with pseudo stratified ciliated columnar epithelium so it extends from the lower border of cricoid cartilage that is c6 to the level of bifurcation bifurcation t4 here like a structure we are making all this one is cilia here the nuclei this one is called mucosa so histologically the trachea consists of four layer first layer is the mucosa in mucosa layer you can see here the goblet cells are there goblet cells and this one is called pseudo stratified ciliated columnar epithelium pseudo stratified ciliated columnar epithelium so whenever uh, we see the goblet cells and uh, pseudo stratified ciliated columnar epithelium this is one of the identification point of trachea this one is perichondrium and here is this part is called as submucosa this one is second layer that is submucosa layer and this one is perichondrium so adjacent to this uh, hyaline cartilage is surrounded by connective tissue that is called as perichondrium this one layer that third layer is called as cartilage and a smooth muscle layer and this final layer is called as adventitia adventitia consist of collagen fibers in submucosa layer we see many glands are present round round structure we are making here it consist of many gland connective tissues blood vessels are there so basically in submucosa we will draw only the glands basically two glands are there that uh, serous gland and mucous gland hai na so serous gland make epithelium moist and mucous gland provide a mucous layer hai na here 
right mucus gland so mucus gland provide mucus layer and here the second gland is serous gland serous gland makes the epithelium moist and mucus gland provide the mucus layer and this together we called as tracheal gland mucus gland and serous gland present in submucosa we called as tracheal gland and in cartilaginous and a smooth muscle layer all this kind of will make this first will make this territorial intertertorial matrix this is hyaline cartilage okay so right now we are making this one is hyaline cartilage this one is hyaline cartilage so basically in hyaline cartilage you can see this territorial matrix is present this is interterritorial matrix and this one is isogenous group of chondrocytes so in cartilaginous and a smooth muscle layer the hyaline cartilage is present and enlarged the adventitia where the collagen fibers so adventitia consist of collagen fiber okay so basically we complete almost all the things and here histologically we can identify the trachea by goblet cells pseudo stratified ciliated columnar cells pseudo stratified columnar epithelium cells then hyaline cartilage and at last presence of tracheal gland in submucosa layer here tracheal gland so in red color we label all the identification point for trachea goblet cell must be present then here the histologically we consist the layer so how many layer four layer mucosa submucosa cartilaginous and smooth muscle layer adventitia identification point goblet cells tracheal gland pseudo ciliated columnar epithelium and hyaline cartilage must be present histologically to identify the trachea this completes the histology of trachea thank you you can take a screenshot here when we keep the slide of trachea under the microscope we see the structure exactly like this